Hello everybody. It has been so long since I've done a normal vlog that this feels so foreign to me. Like, I don't even, what do I do? What do I do? Where do I look? <laughs> So now that you guys have gotten the update that I haven't even actually filmed today, but like I said in my update video, we did buy a camper. And the first video that I'm going to be filming is going to be a thrift haul for the camper. I didn't really realize like how many things you actually need inside of a camper, things like can openers and knives and a uh, pair of scissors. And just, I mean like every, Everything is like running through my head of like what we might need. So I started creating like a Walmart run because they have like cheaper things. You know, I'm not a fan of Walmart. I'm Fred Meyer all the way, but Walmart is definitely cheaper and it doesn't need to be super nice stuff because it's just gonna go out in the camper. Well, as I like created that and I saw that the total keep going up, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I could totally thrift that stuff. I am not a thrifter, okay? And the prices in Alaska are way more than most places. We have Value Village here. That's where I've gone before. We do have a Salvation Army, but I've never actually gone there. So I'm gonna be going to Value Village today and I know they are higher priced than um, you know most thrift shops, but we just don't have the options here. I'm gonna be looking for things like mixing spoons, spatulas, mixing bowls, uh, measuring cups, things that like you need out there, can openers. There's just things that we're gonna need out there that it'd be nice not to buy a whole nother set of because you, it's just too much going on already to have to worry about like remembering every single thing. I thought this would be kind of fun. I am also going to Costco. But we still do have to do some cleanup on the camper. When we bought it, it had like some water issues and we still need to like clean up the outside. There's like spots all over it. It just needs to be pressure washed. But Lance and I are going on a two day getaway this weekend. And when we get back, we want to take one night to kind of test it out. We haven't taken it out yet um, because after that, we're going to Anchorage with it. And we wanna make sure that everything's one, working and that we have everything that we need. Um, my finger is still not working great, this middle finger from my little hand incident. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been to Value Village. I don't really go that often. I am not a shopper. I don't enjoy like going through things and like finding things. And I like going and like, going for something specific and that's just not what you do when you thrift. With this being the camper stuff, I'm not gonna be super picky on like what I want or need. Um, it just has to be a can opener that works or a spoon that's all together and not broken. So let's head to Value Village. So on the way here, I realized I am so hungry and I love this place. I've only had it one time, but I was blown away by how good it was. Um, Spice It Up is actually right next to Value Village, and I've been wanting to go back there. Um, I believe it's like Meta... Meta... Words? I believe it's Mediterranean food. Um, they have like butter chicken, and they have just all sorts of things. And it's like beautiful every time, and it's amazing. So I'm gonna grab something to eat before I head to Value Village. to eat outside. Um, I got the tan tandoori, is I, I might be butchering that, but I think it's called tandoori chicken. This is so good. This is what it looks like. The salad is amazing. Uh, that has like a hot sauce. They ask if you want the hot sauce and there's like a cream sauce and then there's rice underneath. So good. It's only 59 degrees out right now, so it's a little bit chilly, but um, it's kind of nice. Us Alaskans are used to <laughs> chillier weather, but I do have my jacket on. It's Buff Bunny. Code Violet Vlogs if you're looking. <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit cold. <laughs> Did put my hood on. When the sun comes out, it's nice, but when the wind blows, it's cold. My vlogs are now consisting of me talking about the weather. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm done eating. I completely ate that entire thing. I'm not even ashamed. It was so good. So, um, <laughs> I am all done. One thing I want to ask you guys, I know there's going to be things that you guys are like, you're paying way too much for, but do you guys have any tips and tricks for thrifting? I am completely new at this. I've gone in and like kind of just looked around before and found a few things, but is there like, is there like a certain way I should do this? Am I going to be doing this the wrong way and you'd be getting nasty comments? <laughs> things that run through YouTubers brains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was a little bit chilly. My fingers are quite cold right now, um, but they did have indoor seating. I just chose to sit outside because we only have so many months where we can sit outside. <laughs> All right, let's go do some thrifting. So I'm here at Valley Village and basically what I'm gonna be going off of is my um okay I have a hungry man in there for Lance that's that's obviously not one I'm gonna be getting <laughs> but basically in my Walmart app I loaded everything that I need to get so I'm gonna be going off of that um and see what I can get off of my list I'm just gonna awkwardly take a thumbnail I'm sitting in the parking lot <laughs> Ridiculous thing YouTubers do. I'm not gonna lie, this is like very overwhelming to me, just being in here and being like, oh my gosh, everything's like crazy and like all over the place. What I'm seeing right off the bat is that like, a lot of stuff is actually the same price, if not less. To go buy new so we'll see how much i can find here i'm sorry this is like disappointing but i'm actually a little surprised on how little i am finding okay guys this has turned into a thrifting slash costco <laughs> because i can't believe how little housing stuff they had in there i at least expected to get some like maybe some cheap plastic mixing bowls um the a lot of the stuff that I was finding was more expensive in there than I can get at Walmart, which seems so silly to me. But I did get this. This was $6.99 for this whole pack. I don't actually need all of this stuff, but it does have a set of uh, measuring spoons and a can opener, which were those were two things that I needed. For some reason, can openers are like $11. Um, so just the can opener alone, I got a good deal. Um, and then I did need measuring spoons as well. So I got two things off of my list. Salvation Army is already closed, so I'm not gonna be able to do that today, but I'm gonna go ahead and head to Costco. I'm sorry that this whole video has kind of completely failed. So this bag did come with like some coasters and some cookie cutters. Those things I didn't really need, but still got a good deal. All right, this is taking so much longer than I expected. I'm gonna go ahead to Costco and bring you along. So much for me filming two videos. <laughs> One it is. <laughs> Right. I am here at Costco so I am gonna keep looking for stuff for the camper um, because I do have it in my Walmart app I can check prices now I'm not going for like the best quality stuff like I said before I'm just going for like useful it's not gonna get gonna get a ton of use so I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on these items but um, I have actually not been to Costco in probably a solid month, maybe even six weeks, so it's it's due, okay? As always, these warnings I give before I do my Costco hauls, there's no judgment here, okay? <laughs> there's no judgment on what I buy. I keep it real life. I don't not buy things because I'm doing these runs. I probably only go once a month, maybe once every other month, so... I don't have time to be sneaking into Costco again to buy the things that I don't want to show on the video. So, so we're going to keep it real life, okay? 
there's things that you're probably gonna be like, I would never put that on my body and then we're gonna buy, okay? No judgment, this is a judge-free zone here. Okay, let's head into Costco. it is vlogging in public but we actually need these for our little trip to Anchorage because we're going to be taking the camper actually no we don't because everything will be in a camper just kidding that just saved me a lot of money <laughs> but if you need like tucker totes what do you guys call these like the containers with the lids I always call them tucker totes but a friend the other day said she calls them rubbermaids anyways these are fantastic at Costco the black with the yellow lids really good like containers so I really wasn't expecting much um, because I don't know like things are a little bit more expensive if you're buying them here at Costco because they're bigger they're nicer anyways I just found this a, a set of mixing bowls for $17.99 and they have lids if you didn't know this little secret about Costco this star means that they are no longer going to have it after they run out of these um, it could be like a seasonal item or just something that they're not gonna sell again so I'm actually getting a really good deal on these mixing bowls. And they're like lightweight. I thought they were gonna be like solid bowls, but they're actually lightweight. I'm really excited. They're like rubber non-stick bottoms, which is like perfect for the camper. Also, um, I had a, a lady come up to me. Her name was Tina. Tina, if you're watching, uh, thank you for coming up to me. If you ever see me in public, please come say hi. I love talking to you guys. I love um, interacting because all I get to see is like your comment and like a tiny little bubble for your picture. So thank you, Tina, for coming up and saying hi. <laughs> Here we are with another item. Um, I actually need pans for uh, the camper. And I really wasn't expecting to find like a small set here. Now, we don't use like the Teflon ones, like the super easy non-stick ones. We try to find like healthier versions of non-stick. Uh, we're a little bit picky on what we cook with just because you're like cooking that into your food. I'm actually so excited about this one. $35 for these two pans. I actually had just this one pan in my car on Amazon and it was $25. Um, I just looked up this set and it is $44 on Amazon. So I'm saving $10 on this set. And I really actually wanted two of them um, versus just having one because there is six of us. So I'm excited for this find too. And again, it's that little star that says they are getting rid of these. So that means I get a good deal. This is turned into just basically a, a talking vlog in Costco. <laughs> But I just found this. Let me show you what it is. It's like a little cart to have like your plates and your forks and all that. This would be so cute for the motorhome. Look, the more plates down here. Um, and then it's got a little handle and it looks like a little picnic basket. If I was not already buying all this stuff for the camper, that would totally be in the car right now because it's adorable. But we had a budget. <laughs> These do come with the fitted and the regular sheet and then it comes with four pillowcases. Now I will say that these are kind of loud sheets just to warn you, like they almost have like a plastic sound because they're only $15.99 and that is a lot cheaper than what I had picked out on uh, the Walmart app. We're gonna go with these because it's just for the camper. So I'm literally just looking for like the best deal. <laughs> They're $11.99. I am so excited right now. <laughs> this is where the non judgment comes in. We have been better about our plastic work, but for the camper, we're going to go with the plastic forks because we only have so much water. Um, and we're going to get those. No judgment. Okay.
have an indoor outdoor rug perfect for outside the camper to leave your shoes twenty dollars that's amazing I'm not getting these. Um, they're $5.90 in case you're wondering. But Pillsbury now has cornbread? I've never heard of that. Have you seen that before? New to me. These are actually on sale right now and we do need a spell. Oh my god. <laughs> As I was saying, we need a spare gas can for the can. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna knock these over. What is going on? We're gonna, we're gonna. There we go. As I was saying, we need a spare gas can for the generator. Boom. Again, we're not gonna judge the things that I'm buying. This has gotta be the most random Costco haul I have ever done, for sure. There's like, I mean, we've got gas cans, we have soda, we got paper towels, we got coffee, we got rugs, we got it all. All the talking I haven't done in the last couple months is just coming out in this vlog, okay? Something I'm gonna get. $15 for this case of Gatorade Zero. Electrolytes is something like I have to have when I'm drinking lots of water. Let me know if this happens to you because I saw one other person talk about this was if I try to drink a lot of water, my lips get so chapped and like my skin feels like really dry, but electrolytes totally helps that. Every time I like, just, just like one once in a while, one every other day or maybe once a day. Anyways, totally helps with that. I'm getting towards the end. All I need to hit is the snack foods. We just need a few things like protein shakes and protein bars. And I should be good to go. This is really random. It's getting to the point now. It's pretty full. <laughs> I have a lot of room. I keep texting Lance. I'm like, I don't have room for that. So he's gonna have to come with me next time. If you wanna see Lance in the next Costco haul, please let me know down below because I love when he comes with me. <laughs> run out of room. I'm just gonna set this here. <laughs> when did Costco get self-checkout? What in the world? That's very new here. We are not doing the self-checkout. <laughs> Look who it is! 
he was right around the corner and he was like, oh, I'll just come over. So he helped me load the car up a little bit and uh, we are gonna head home now. I will give you guys a total as soon as we get home. What's the total? <sighs> What's the total? It is. I'm go by door. <laughs> everybody I am pretty happy with what I got at Costco for the camper I really wasn't expecting a lot I just expected Costco to have like you know bigger sets of things and or you know too expensive and I was actually really surprised on like the things I found on sale I think they're already starting to like get rid of like the summer stuff so I like hit it just right which is really nice thank you to everybody that came up and said hi to me while I was at Costco I love that. It makes my heart happy to like talk to you guys. So the stuff I got for my camper is the set of the set of pans, the mixing bowls, a outdoor rug, which I thought was so cool. I am actually really pleased with the things that I did find at Costco. It wasn't a crazy amount, but it was like so nice. Like the outdoor rug was totally not expecting to find that there. We went to Walmart the other day and they had like a massive one. And I was like, that is too big. I do not want that. I just want like a little one that we can put our shoes on. And that's what I found there. So I was really grateful for that. If you guys want to know the total of what was at my Alaskan Costco, $435 for that run. Ah. It just gets more and more every time. <laughs> as like our family grows I need to go to Costco more often is the problem like I try to go when I have to go and then by that time I need so much stuff that I can't even fit it all in one cart there was some stuff on my list that I wasn't able to get because I just didn't have the cart room and actually the reason Lance was like heading towards me when I was at Costco was because he was like oh I'll grab a cart but I was already checked out at that point so I would love to bring Lance on the next one because he's always so much fun like he always just like makes me laugh and he totally like blooms when the camera's on all right, I am going to end this one. It felt so good to pick up the camera today. Like, it just, it brings me a lot of joy. And I'm so thankful to have this community that has not put pressure on me and has not made me feel like I have to put videos out. I am gonna try to be better. We do have our little Alaskan, I wanna call it cruise, but it's not an Alaskan cruise. We're just gonna do some traveling with our camper and I'm really excited to show you guys Alaska. I'm gonna be bringing my drone to throw that up in the air when I can. I'm just so excited. So thank you guys for coming along today. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!